Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. Two security guard has been found at the China Harbor Engineering Company in St. Andrew, and it's being reported that there have been a rash of breaking by thieves trying to get oil. So they are theorizing it's connected, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> The China Harbor Engineering Company, ladies and gentlemen, yes, in St. Andrew Plantation Heights. Now, two security guards last night were found dead on the property. Nationwide news has seen that source indicate that St. Andrew police are theorizing that the last night double murder on the property belonging to thieves that have been breaking into the China Harbor Engineering Company. Yes, it has been linked to the breaking on the premises. The deceased have been identified as 60-year-old Lincoln Royal and 22-year-old Brandon Small. One of the guards were found in the trunk of the motor car with a gunshot wound to the head, while the other was found in the bushes nearby. He had also had been shot. The third security guard who was located had gone missing. It's understood that his radio and security vest will recover on the property. Operation officers of St. Andrew South Police Division, Superintendent Caldred Minto, has since confirmed that the third security guard has been found. Now, the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Caldred Minto, speak to Clifton Hughes online this morning, and Caldred said that the security guard fled the scene after armed hoodlums invaded the property. He is reportedly not considered a suspect. Now, Deputy Caldred Minto, Operating Officer of St. Andrew South Police Division, he declined to name the security guard that killed pending notification of the family. The Deputy Commissioner of Police has also declined to name the security company assigned to the property. Now here is Nationwide News speaking to Cordred Minto. But happy to report, uh, Cliff, that he has since been located and he is alive. Oh, and very well. good. Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, that's the third security guard where Ron left him partner them in radio and in vest. Men don't know how you can have security guard on property and don't have nothing to protect him next. And we have him um, now being processed and he's been interviewed as we at the major investigations division. But he is okay. Um, there was no harm to him, but we know physical harm. And I don't want to go into his account, but he is well. And he's now being interviewed by the police to give his, his side of the story. Oh, you mean you have to interrogate him because he was on the scene and for some reason the other two got capped and he escaped. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't suspect he's been treated as a suspect, no. Eh? Um, his account is, you know, when he, what was unfolding, um, he was running away from the incident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> him not brave. But him have sense. Mm -hmm. But eventually he turned up and we are processing him. And that's, that's as much as I can speak to him because I'm not the investigator treating with his account. Me want to know when him turn up, how him turn up, and why him did I wear when him turn up. Take everything from him. Record him statement. Because if something not in a something, me not yam dumpling. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rastafari, soldier of Deep Roots TV. I'm reporting live. Two security guards was egregiously slain at the China Harbor Engineering Company in St. Andrew. One get fine in a trunk with a bullet in her head. And the next one get fine in the bush. And guess what I'm have? Him get copper also. The next guard run my left him radio and invest and go on like him stush. Me not know if something in a something. Leave your comments. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.
Rastafari. 